It started in my bedroom on the floor as a child. I do it at home. I do it at my partner's house. If I see something at the doctor's office, like in the waiting room <laughs> that I like, I'll rip a page out. It's just something that I'm always thinking about. My name's Emily Truman and I make collage artwork. I guess like in a symbolic way, it's kind of taking bits and pieces and re-piecing them together. As human beings in today's society, we are flooded with visual imagery and certain things catch our attention. So the things that catch my attention, I feel like those are all pieces of me that might be potentially broken and then I'm putting them back together in some way that makes sense, even though a lot of my artwork doesn't really make sense to the naked eye. My collage artwork started out as something for me personally. I never expected to be in a show at the Sears Gallery in New York City. I would make a collage, put it in a stack, and kind of like shove it away. And my challenge as an artist is making sure that I'm still continuing to make things for me without expecting other people to look at them because then it's, that's the purpose of it. It's, it's for me, it's not for anyone else. I love teaching people who don't consider themselves artists the art of collage. All of the images are already there. It just depends on you to put them together in a significant way that means something to you. In my collage group that I run monthly, I've had people that are like, oh, like I'm not very crafty or I'm not very artsy, I'm not very creative. And they come and they just crush it when they dry collage. It is one of the simplest forms of art, but it really depends on how you personally put it together that makes it interesting. And I really like that. It's not a huge secret. It's not like this secret method or this, you know, secret thing. I love sharing collage artwork with other people.